welcome back. This time, it's it's that time of the month again. Instead of doing a what's on my shelf, I'm going to be doing another unboxing video because <clears throat> January 2021 Vinegar Syndrome box has arrived. Very excited about this. Uh, as I am every month. Alright, so let's dive in. First, just want to remind everybody about the Patreon page. Link is in the description. Recently posted my first patron only video. It's a film appreciation of Aki Karazmaki's The Other Side of Hope. So, if you like my videos here and are looking for some more long form reviews of films that aren't even necessarily on my shelf, head over to the patron page and uh, sign up, and then you can get access to the film appreciation videos. Also, if you watch these videos and you like them, please be sure to share them with your social media folk and get the word spread out. I sure would appreciate that. That said, let's rip into this box. Oh, here we, there we go. <laughs> Literally ripping into the box. I love it. All right. So this month I did also pick up the... Agfa video and the VSA releases. So let's start with those. So first up is Agfa's horror trailer show. So apparently they, they released this in theaters across the Alamo Draft House. And I remember when they they put these out there and apparently they said that they weren't going to release it on video. Well the pandemic changes things. If we take a look here, what do we got here? Senses shattering compilation of the most spine rippling, slime tingling, soul shrieking horror trailers you're ever you've ever seen. Um, since it's the guys from Agfa, I actually trust them on this, as opposed to a lot of other trailer compilations that I've watched. This is going to be definitely first up on my plate because I love trailers and I love Agfa. So that's very, very cool. Next up is Agfa's main January release. And that is The Curious Dr. Hump. This is released in conjunction with Something Weird video. I have no idea what I'm walking into with this. I remember looking it up when it was announced. And it just looks wild. Take a look at this cover. That's just that's out of this world like what am i getting myself into it's black and white looks like it's from 1969 doctor the curious doctor hump isn't a movie it's a rite of passage yes <laughs> that's exactly what i'm talking about uh and next up is this month's vsa release for those who do not know VSA stands for Vinegar Syndrome Archive. These are their VHS styled releases. And this month it's Edgar Allan Poe's The House of Usher. Let's take a look here. That's right. I, lo I love the, the fact that it's bottom loader just like VHS tapes. Here's the reverse cover here. A Modern Passion. An Ancient Terror. Um, let's see, what what is this one? This one is directed by Alan Birkinshaw, who uh, I know I looked it up, but I don't think I've seen any of his movies. So this is going to be really interesting. I really like the VSA releases because Vinegar Syndrome, they, they do dive deep into obscurity. Like they, they unearth some great little movies that I've never heard of or seen of, seen before. Uh, but their VSA releases are unique because they're more of that direct-to-video line. You know, trying to recreate the video store aesthetic. So they're actually releasing a lot more movies that were direct-to-video in the first place. And there's a huge treasure trove of movies that most people might not have seen the light of day since VHS or if they even saw them in VHS because the market was flooded with direct video so this is going to be exciting um, a lot of their stuff that they've put out on VSA has been more action oriented but their uh, 
couple horror titles like Necromancer and I think Spellcaster was a VSA release. I like those. They're 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 interesting. They're very very unique. They're not necessarily bad, uh, but they're like if if you're of a certain age, my age, uh, you may remember USA Up All Night, where they just played lower end movies, and a lot of us grew up loving them. And that's exactly what these VSA releases really invoke is that USA Up All Night vibe. So that's gonna be cool. Let's see. All right, diving into Vinegar Syndrome's main lineup. First is the replacement disc for Beastmaster. There was, I don't know what the error was on disc two, the Blu-ray disc two of the three disc set, but Vinegar Syndrome takes care of their people. Didn't even have to request it. Just boom, automatically sent out with my next shipment. All right, so first up we have Dark Tower. It reaches heaven and touches hell. Um, this this is supposedly a haunted apartment complex movie. And that's super, super interesting. So it was directed by Freddie Francis, who Freddie Francis, he is one of the like gods of British horror from the 70s. Um, he also directed, oh God, um, let's see, he directed the original Tales from the Crypt movie. Oh, I'm trying to remember, ah, oh, so many good movies, Gurley, that's it, Mumsy f Father something Gurley. Gurley was such a weird and interesting movie that I'm really interested in this because of Freddie Francis's involvement, but it was also co-directed by Ken Wiederhorn, who who has directed some not so highly lauded films like Freddie Francis, such as Shockwaves, the Nazi zombie film. Um, so that's going to be an interesting treat. I'm going to open this real quick, see if it'll open up fast for me, because it, the cover art that is on display is the same as the limited edition slipcover, and I like look I like looking at the reverse cover art because it's more it's usually the original cover art and so that's more in, of interest to me when I'm when I'm opening these packages and I've taken a look because that's just it's a coffin the apartment complex as a coffin let me see if I can angle this properly here there we go yeah all right much more traditional looking than the new one but i i think i like the new one better I, it's not necessarily a new one but it's just a different one all right let's put that one away next up a film by carlos puerto satan's blood if i'm not mistaken when i look this one up it's also co-directed um in an uncredited role by juan piquero simon who is a super crazy director who most famously made Pieces. Uh, Pieces is a slasher film that is completely bonkers. Like, that is just a out-of-this-world movie. He also did, it's, it's called Extraterrestrial Visitors, but it's been renamed as Pod People, and that's one of uh, the more popular Mystery Science Theater 3000 entries. I went and actually saw extraterrestrial visitors in the theaters uh, at the Alamo Draft House before the pandemic hit. It's uh, It wasn't good, but it was super fun and interesting. Uh, he also directed Slugs. So I don't know what to expect from this, but I don't know who Carlos Puerto is. Uh, <laughs> but Satan's Blood. I'm not going to be denied a Spanish horror movie. Uh, so... Spanish horror is a very interesting and very good subgenre, so I'm very excited to dive into that. All right. Last but not least, if I'm not mistaken, yep, this one is not just uncredited, co-directed by Juan Picur Simon. This one is straight up directed by him, and that's Cthulhu Mansion. This looks crazy. Cthulhu, Cthulhu is, of course, the brainchild of 
horror author H.P. Lovecraft, and it's all of his work is in the public domain at this point, so you can just make whatever you want to do, and that's where we got such great H.P. Lovecraft films such as Reanimator, From Beyond, and Dagon, all from the late, great uh, Stuart Gordon. Uh, so this was a, a direct-to-video effort, if I'm not mistaken. Cthulhu Mansion. It's very... I'm, I'm interested to check this one out. I'm interested to check all of them out. That's why I'm a subscriber. I just want all the Vinegar Syndrome things because I never know what in the world they're going to bring me. So... Mm, yay! Alright, so that is Vinegar Syndrome's January 2021 lineup. Uh, and AGFA's 2021 January lineup. If you're interested in reviews for each of these films, I'm going to be doing an unboxing follow-up for the Patreon page. So be sure to head on over there and subscribe. And not only will you get the film appreciation, but you'll get the unboxing follow-up videos. Um, no idea when those are going to post because that's six movies here that I have to watch. So that might be a couple of weeks from now. But that's going to be super fun to do. I'm really excited to do these these unboxings, show the films, show the world to see what Vinegar Syndrome is releasing each month. And then to later for Patreon subscribers, uh, go through again each film and give short little reviews and give my thoughts on them. So that'll be fun. Oh man, whew. I'm tired. All this excitement is getting to me. So I'm going to let you go. And thank you so much for watching. Everybody have a great one. And so though these are new to my shelf, what's on your shelf? <laughs>